Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. I thank Professor Juma to invite me to Toulouse. Toulouse is a very beautiful city. I enjoy the climate here. Uh, see, today, uh, a little bit is that uh, many presentation is in, in French, but I think I got some new, new, uh, new idea about urban uh, agriculture. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, so today I will present a uh, my research work entitled uh, Immobilization of uh, Perennial in Farmland by Silicon and its side effect. So I'm in, from the South China Botanic Garden, Chinese Academy of Science. Okay. So my presentation includes these four parts. So first, uh, the background of limited agent technique for contaminate uh, farmland. Hopefully I yeah. Second is that the comparison of the CCD uh, immobilization effect of multiple <coughs> silicon. So it's the application dose of calcium silicon we find still this one work well. Uh, immobilization is in CD in farmland soil and third is supplement of zinc and manganese in calcium uh, treated soil. Uh, firstly, we show you some the problem in the farmland uh, contamination in China. The rate, total rate of above a allowable uh, limit of farmland contamination is 19.4%. Uh, Among them, 83 is due to the heavy metal. So low, but I, I would say the allowable limit for CD is only 0.3, is much uh, lower than the uh, European limit. Uh, since your opinion is three, but we only point three. Uh, the, yesterday I just noticed that the, the pH in European soil is normally is above seven, can be say uh, eight point six is very high. So in China is where we say it's mainly uh, light to moderate contamination. Uh, in the south, in this part, it's more serious than north part due to the mining activity. So this figure is from the uh, Britain of Ministry of uh, Environment Protection of China. So how to treat the, uh, this farmland? So we, in, recently, in China, uh, Chinese government invest a lot of money to, 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 to see how can we treat this soil. Uh, so mainly two techniques. First, immobilization, immobilization. this is Make the uh, as some sort of amendment way the uh, make the heavy metal unavailable to the crop. So this ha this is good uh, because it's uh, no breaking of agricultural production. But uh, this advantage uh, is, is the heavy metal still in the soil. Uh, another strategy is the phytoremediation. It's very uh, the advantage is the can remove the heavy metal from the soil. But this advantage is that it's very slowly. It can be uh, 10 years to make it clean. So in uh, recent years, we mainly use the soil amendment to treat this soil. So uh, the key is the, to find an efficient soil uh, amendment. And in this way, we Vital remediation, that's, uh, the key is to, to find efficient uh, accumulating plant, but it's very difficult. Uh, it seems very few, very few are available. Uh, recently, in my group, say, we were also doing another research that uh, because it's very difficult to, uh, to clean the heavy metal from the agricultural product. So we, but, uh, we can see that uh, can reduce heavy metal absorption by human body. So we have two channels that the use the food fiber to chelate the, the heavy metal in, in the stomach. So we can develop some functioning with a uh, functioning food. Uh, another channel is that we use the cat high comp comp competition. Uh, some, some food can have very high chemical or high zinc. 
Our report is that uh, in Vietnam, the people living in the area of high high zinc, and then they in the, they they uh, uh, they suffer very little from the cadmium. So we believe that the iron competition, cation competition, happen in the stomach. So. Uh, now today I just report some result of immobilization. Immobilization, so the key is to find uh, to find efficient soil amendment. Uh, so the amendment now is can be invited to the inorganic or organic. Inorganic such as uh, alkaline material, phosphate, silica, or, or carbonate. Organic some. A report show that the biocharge uh, manure be compost. Uh, or residue, it also seems to work a little bit. Uh, but uh, mainly the inorganic material like the phosphate silicon might work better than the organic because it can uh, potentially form the insoluble, the salt, insoluble salt. So now I show you some of the uh, result of uh, uh, experiment with uh, silicon, where the silicon is good. So we have, uh, we, we spy the CD to the soil for three years, and it's a, a long aging time, and we, we have three test crops, and we had the four silicon, silicon, uh, mag uh, magnesium silicon, calcium silicon, sodium silicon, and potassium silicon. Also, we compare with lime uh, and phosphate. So this uh, uh, CD is have 6.8 and pH is only 5.6. That's the uh, common acidity in, in, in the south part, the old, old south part of China. The pH very low compared to the uh, soil here. Okay, we use, firstly, if we want to you use immobilizer, that's a soil amendment. It should not add too much uh, amendment to the soil. So we set uh, a suitable level of uh, 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 soil amendment. We, we, we use mu. That's uh, six, 15 mu is one hectare. So it's acceptable. We set it's sodium is one, and then we have uh, the same amount of silicon, so we have different amount of uh, amendment. So we just now show you so, uh, what, uh, uh, which one is good. So if we found that the calcium and, 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 uh, and potassium silicon, the biomass, they don't affect the biomass. Uh, but the magnesium silicon and the sodium silicon reduce the biomass. So it's not acceptable for farmers to use. Uh, uh, lime is similar to doesn't affect the biomass, but it's uh, uh, then the, uh, leaf yellow, so it might affect the the the, uh, the element of some phosphate increased by uh, crop biomass. So we can sh now we can see that the, uh, this sodium silicon can reduce the CD uptake mostly. This one is uh, right, the same. Sodium, uh, silicon, sodium, silicon, and lime work uh, best. The second is the uh, calcium silicon. Calcium silicon and then the phosphate. Ah, the, 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 this three doesn't work in reducing the uh, uh, CD uptake. So this show show how much uh, is reduced. That the uh, calcium silicon normally work. Uh, sodium silicon work best. Uh, also, lime is good, but not magnesium silicon and potassium silicon. Uh, uh, okay. So we there are some report that the uh, silicon really regulate the uh, uh, metal uptake. But in, in this case, it shows that the silicon absorption doesn't uh, have nothing to do with uh, metal up, uh, uptake. You, you see all silicon application increase the silicon 
uh, in crop. So it sh shows that the, the pattern is different. That means, it, especially here, we show the uh, potential silicon can increase, significantly increase the silicon content in crop, but it doesn't reduce the cadmium, cadmium uptake. Uh, we also measure basically silicon value affect the uh, nutrient uptake. So it doesn't affect the micronutrients, say calcium, magnesium, and potassium. All this uh, amendment did not affect uh, all the, the, this nutrient uptake, but it affect the micronutrients, especially zinc and uh, manganese can reduce to very low. Manganese is your yeah, zinc by hundred the control now reduce only half or uh, even uh, seventy three. So uh, it's a relationship between the pH and available uh chemical is we can understand. So in fact we come to a co conclusion that the calcium silicon might be uh, potentially uh, a good immobilizer of it. So we put the test because the uh, sodium silicon effect uh, by mass and the line turned the uh, plant yellow and uh, so we uh, suggest the calcium silicon is good. So we need to see what, which those might be good. So we have a series of tests, that's the milligram per kilogram the silicon. So we compare. Uh, we can see the biomass. We use different different amount of uh, calcium silicon. It's we can see that the last two, that's four hundred and eight hundred uh, the, the application is increased biomass for the, this stem this leaf. So you can see these two was uh, it's very good to help to increase the, uh, the, the, the crop biomass. Uh, now we see that uh, how it works uh, in reducing the uh, chemical uptake. You can see this uh, 400, 800 is linearly, uh, linearly with the calcium silicon dose. Uh, two, okay. Huh. Okay. So it's we suggest this is the relationship between the uh, quantity add and the, uh, okay. So now, in fact, we found that it's reduced the zinc and manganese. So we, we test with it's after a immobilization, we add additional zinc and manganese. And so we have several uh, different uh, This is just this kind of. Uh, we just add the zinc and manganese and uh, zinc and plus and also after immobilization we add it. So it shows that the, uh, it's reduced the cadmium availability, also it's reduced the zinc availability and also uh, uh, reduced the uh, manganese uh, uh, availability. But uh, supplement is can uh, recover zinc or manganese to the normal level. So this is by biomass. It, it shows that uh, uh, after a uh, soil amendment addition, if we add additional zinc or man uh, manganese as zinc plus manganese increase the uh, biomass compared to uh, if no uh, no treatment of immobilization, I think it doesn't work. So this is, we can show that the uh, uptake. So it shows, uh, that especially that, that uh, it shows that uh, no cacti competition for uptake. Uh, uh, if we add zinc or manganese, it doesn't affect uh, chemical uptake. So all this in reduce. Uh, this is after immobilization, the last four, okay? So, no cacti uh, competition. So
So this is zin. Okay, it shows that uh, if we uh, after the immobilization we act zin, it can recover a little bit. Uh, zin. This also re recover stem and leaves. It recover, uh, but uh, manganese is fully recover if we act manganese after immobilization. It's fully recover, but it's not. Uh, for okay, this is the effect of uh, photosynthesis. Okay, this is effect on the uh, the photosynthesis pigment. Okay, this is yeah anti oxidation. So we just show you that uh, these two can immobilize CD effectively, but this one result in the biomass reduction. These two doesn't have. Uh, immobilization if uh, silicon uh, uptake do not help to reduce CT uptake. The 400 is good, it can reduce about 85 percent, uh, but it's, those might differ depending on the soil property. Uh, immobilization, it, it doesn't affect the micro uh, nutrient uptake, but affect the uh, micro nutrient uptake, no competition. Uh, iron competition for CD and phosphor flow. So we say it might be a potentially a good immobilizer for the cambium. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we can take a little bit of time for the questions. Méthode en fait, hein, finalement, d'immobilisation de, de cadmium qui permet d'obtenir euh, de l'amarante de, voilà, de qualité euh, malgré le, les teneurs au départ euh, voilà, moyennes ou en tout cas des pollutions, voilà, des pollutions euh, significatives des sols. Um, alors, perhaps, uh, I have a question. Uh, what kind of quality for this, this kind of uh, amendment? Because uh, it's Perhaps we can imagine that uh, in the same way that the phosphorus fertilizer, we have a trace of cadmium. Uh, do you know what is the degree of, of purity of this kind of uh, inorganic amendment? Uh, we, you, you use the commercial product, so we, uh, 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 no problem of CD contamination. Yes, phosphorus contain some, uh, some cadmium. But the calcium, uh, normally the commercial product doesn't uh, contain uh, cadmium. Uh, it's also very cheap, so we uh, test. It's very important. It should be cheap. Should not be and what, what kind of size of uh, for this produce? Uh, do you use both uh, nano particles of uh, inorganic amendments, or do, well, do you uh, change also the size of the particles, or? Or you used all the time the same uh, commercial product with uh, with uh, well, current size. But it's a lot of depend on the uh, soil pH. I, I think the, this amendment uh, will not work in, in European soil. Uh, is pH is very high, so the, we are doing that. Uh, that we are studying whether it's re it's formed the insoluble salt, but seems. The pH play an uh, important. And uh, just well, to, to finish, uh, from a soci social point of view, uh, do you know if the, the citizen are uh, um, motivated in in Guangzhou in China by this case of uh, this kind of uh, question about uh, sustainable food? Because uh, in France we have a lot of culture and. Well, the, the citizen, the, the public space is very interested by, uh, by this question of, about uh, sustainable food. And in China, is, is the sure, same? Sure, or? the the same. Uh, seems to now uh, it's a big problem because that uh, uh, previously, say ten ten years ago, a uh, lot of factory, a lot of mining site, they produce a lot of uh, pollution and they make the farm and produce. But now people found that especially the vegetable or the uh, the rice, maybe consume a lot of rice. Rice is a uh, very big problem. <laughs>